Hey, it's Tim here with Expert Power Wash, and today I have a mini skid to show you guys. Let's take a look at this thing. All right, there it is. Walking out the shop here. Let's take a look at this thing, see what all it has. We'll go around to the front and start there. By a special request, this skid came with three reels. So you got your garden at the top there, soft wash in the middle, pressure on the bottom. We got the Honda 390 gear drive. Let's take a closer look at this. So this one is unique, not typically the ones that you find in production, but this has a gear drive and then it has the general uh, five and a half gallon per minute, 3000 PSI pump. One extra thing that this has that you don't see a lot of these smaller machines have is this has a K7 unloader. So that's going to be a soft pull when you pull the gun. Your gun's not going to want to jump out of your hands. And then while we're over here, let's take a look at this. We have the strainer filter that runs straight into the tank. You have a clean out there at the bottom. All the hoses are nicely ran. Going up here, you have the soft wash mixer. So you have water, soap, and chemical. And then this one uniquely has a rinse valve on it. So pointing straight up this chemical, pointing over is water. What that does is that rinses out the chemical line there. Keeps everything running longer, and it's going to last a lot longer when you have a rinse valve on there. This is 48 inches by 48 inches. You got the battery back in there. You have a seven gallon soap tank. All these soap tanks are plumbed with uh, strainers and drop tubes, weights that hold them into the tank so they're not floating to the top. You have a one inch drain hose right there that just curls around and then you can use it as a eye wash station, hand wash station, bucket filler, uh, whatever you want to use it for as well as emptying the tanks. Full frame aluminum reels, bandit reels. These also have the stainless steel manifolds in them. We got the Flexilla three quarter and then going down here with the soft wash hose, this is half inch. And then you have the J rods that are matched to this unique pump. I'll show you on the other side here in just a minute. And then going down to the pressure washer hose, this is the Fierce Jet. This is rated a little bit higher PSI. It's going to be the uh, 4350 as well as a ball valve there. So you can switch between your gun and your surface cleaner. You can also use this as a uh, rinsing tool. We don't like to cut corners on the stuff that we build. So this has a Titan stack kit. These are stainless steel. There's a couple different options when you see these. Uh, they come in regular steel and stainless. We use stainless. I want this thing to last for you guys. All right, going on over here. We talked about the seven gallon soap tank. It has 255 gallon vertical tanks. We'll take a look at those real quick. So this is gonna be your bleach tank. And then that's gonna be your water over there. There is a Hudson float valve. So the water will turn off once it gets full. Let's take a look in one of these here. I'll show you the way that we plumb our tanks. And it's worked the best. We've done it probably 10 different ways. But if you look in there, let's see if I can get a shot. You have a slotted PVC filter. And as you can see, you got the hose that runs, the polybread hose runs directly in through a uniseal. So these are super tight. When you put the hose in there, as long as you're using the right sizes and you're drilling these out right, these expand and they're not going anywhere. Uh, this is Kiritech polybraid hose. So we're not using off the shelf hardware uh, polybraid on this. This stuff works a lot better. It's a lot, it's just all around just better hose. I showed you the back there. Let's take a look at this pump. This is going to be the seven gallon a minute, 100 PSI pump. You have a heavy duty shutoff switch there. This is plumbed with banjo fittings. Again, the Kiritech poly braid that runs through the bar in the back and then over to the mixing system. If you're looking for a skid like this, let us know. I'll back out and get a far out shot of this. This is gonna be great for the smaller trucks. This is my truck back there. Something like this as a backup rig or 
somebody that's starting out, this would fit perfectly in the back of there and have you know extra space. My bed there is uh, five and a half, and this is four feet, so that'd give you a little bit of space to put something like this in a smaller truck. Thanks for watching. Let me know if I can answer any questions for you on this. Uh, we do finance these 100% financing. I can send you a link if you're interested. We are in Oregon City, Oregon. Reach out to us if we can help you. Thank you.